Hello everybody, this is uh, Special Eddie and I'm here today to show you how to uh, uh, adjust the shims. And uh, the first part, I decided to just videotape it, it'd be quicker if I uh, showed you how to remove the valve cover. And uh, so the tools you're going to need, um, you're going to need feeler gauges. And now they have uh, this set at AutoZone, I think it's 7 bucks. This set costs a, f a little less and it's bent, uh, the tip, so you can use it for valves and it's a lot easier. But there aren't as many uh, different sizes. You're gonna need a three-quarter inch or a three-quarter inch wrench to uh, to be able to turn the engine over with it un uh, unplugged or you know the negative terminal disconnected. Flashlight helps. You're gonna need a, uh, uh, a caliper. You know most of them are digital nowadays. Uh, here's a 30 millimeter uh, socket that you can rent at AutoZone for 20 bucks, and they'll give you your 20 bucks back as soon as you bring it back. Um, obviously, you're going to need the quarter-inch drive uh, ratchet and extension for that. And uh, you're also going to need a 12 millimeter socket, uh, a 10 millimeter socket, and a ratchet. Now, you can also use the wrenches. It's up to you. Um, all right, and so let's get started. All right, and so the first step I always recommend is if you've got any kind of good paint, which I don't, but for those of you that do, I'd throw a towel over the side, or if you've got a fender apron, it'll just it'll protect the paint. You want to come over here and show them. And, uh, and so the first thing we're always going to do is disconnect the negative terminal on the battery, which I've already got mine loose, but uh, you can either use a 10 millimeter wrench or socket to do that. You're going to want to take it off, and you're always going to want to put it out of the way somewhere, because a lot of times it tends to want to uh, you know, come back to the terminal and it might bump up against it and start getting power. So we took that out of the way. Alright, the next step, and this is all real easy, getting the valve cover off. So we're going to want to undo this cable from all the places it's connected. And there's the third one. Alright, and then what you're going to want to do, and mine's already loose, there's two nuts here, and what you're going to want to do is bounce, uh, back one off. And now uh, you, can, you can kind of adjust the slack in the accelerator pedal. But uh, if you're not wanting to do that, you can just back one side off and pull it out. Or uh, if you plan on readjusting it later, which I always do, then it, it doesn't really matter. We'll get onto that later. And then you're going to want to turn the, open the throttle up, and uh, and you can just barely see if you turn this this cable over, you can kind of wiggle it out up there, and it's out. And now we want to. Stash this out of the way so it doesn't get in our way. Anywhere over there is fine. All right, the next step we need to obviously remove all the spark plug wires. And you know, it doesn't really matter the order because obviously, the you know, you're not going to be able to reach cylinder four over to cylinder one. You know, they're the lengths make it pretty easy to get them back in and just move those out of the way. Don't worry about them too much. All right, and the next step. We're gonna need uh, you, now. You can use a wrench for this, but it's always easier to use a socket and a ratchet to get in here because it's a little tight. Mm -hmm. You're gonna want to back these bolts off right here, where the uh, throttle cable was held to the intake manifold. And so, once we get those two bolts out, it should come off. The reason we need this off is it's going to block the socket from being able to reach this uh, spark plug tube nut that holds down the valve cover. Okay, move that out of the way. You might want to put some more safe so you don't lose it. Alright, now there's two hoses on here that do have to be disconnected on this model. And one is the PCV valve hose. And you can pull it out of the grommet, just gently wiggle it until it comes out. You may want to replace that while you have it out. It's either two or three bucks at AutoZone, and the grommet's probably about the same price. And if yours is like mine, the hose was crap, so you've had to change that out before. And then disconnect this breather hose from the throttle body. Oops, let me disconnect that. All right, uh, another thing you're going to need to do is uh, remove the oil cap. It's going to get in the way when you try and pull it out, so just set that aside. All right, and now we're down to these nuts right here. And this is where you're going to need 
that from AutoZone. It costs uh, uh, twenty dollars, and you know you can rent it and just return it when you're done. All right. And uh, you know we're gonna want this. So it's a a half inch drive. So you're either gonna need an adapter to run it to your normal three eighths drive ratchet, or you're going to have you know if you have a half inch drive, then just go ahead and use that. All right. And uh, not. I can't remember off the top of my head what the torque is on these. Mine are already loose because I had the valve cover off before I decided to start a video. And what you want to do is loosen all those. Now probably the best way to do it would be to loosen you know, the two outside ones first and then the middle just to keep the torque on it. And I, I don't know the torquing uh, you know, procedure on this. There might be a more specific way to do it. But just you usually always want to start from the outside and work your way in when you're untorquing something. Or if you just untorque one at a time, you know, about a half turn, and a half turn, and a half turn, then you usually won't have any worries about warping anything. And once you unscrew all those, I wouldn't even bother removing them because they'll, they'll stay pretty good uh, in the valve cover. And there's actually a, uh, a gasket that goes underneath. I can't pull it out. All right, and so to break this seal loose, and mine's already loose, but I find the best way is to grab this breather hose over here. And there's a, a nipple under there where it uh, grabs onto the valve cover, and use that to break the seal. Now, once you've broken the seal, uh, this this wire conduit right here is going to prevent you from being able to pull it out. So if you can wiggle that out of the way, or you might just have to lift against it when you pull this out. Now, the the other place that I found is best to grab onto is uh, in, put your finger inside this uh, oil filler hole and hold over here and you can lift it right off and kind of wiggle it out. Alright, and now that's how you get the valve cover off. Uh, I'll probably do the rest of the video in uh, pictures because it'll be more time consuming. So, uh, thanks for watching. This is Special Eddie.